this is my very first triathlon. Um, it's an Olympic distance. I'm very excited. Uh, a lot of unknowns as to uh, how it's going to go, um, of course, because it's my first one. For those of you that don't know, um, the Olympic distance is 1.5 kilometers swimming. So this course is going to be um, just like a loop, kind of an out and back uh, twice and then a 40 kilometer bike ride and the bike ride is going to be a big 20 kilometer loop around the reservoir um, and then it's going to be a 10k run um, which is supposed to be kind of in like a paved trail um, at least according to uh, the description so that'll be fun um, it's up in Muncie Indiana so we're actually leaving tomorrow so pretty excited. How do I feel about the race? Um, definitely a little anxious, but excited as well. Um, just ready to get in the water, get in the swim, get it going. Um, I don't actually have any time goals for the swim. I just uh, want to be able to complete it um, just to do well in it, of course, um, not uh, to take my time, but um, I'll be excited to get it finished um, just so I can know what to expect and then move on to the bike and the run. I'll be interested to see how my legs feel. Um, most of the way into the run um, after having done the swim and the bike. Um, I haven't done really any practice of all three together. Um, I've done a lot of uh, bike run workouts. Um, so I'll just be interested to see um, two hours in how my uh, legs are feeling. So, all right, we're gonna get this show on the road. So it's been two days since my Olympic triathlon. I wanted to do a race recap. I apologize for not having as much video to overlay on top of this of the actual race, um, but I had an all intentions of getting more video, but when I got there, I wanted to have enough warm up, and I just, with my first one, I didn't want to uh, miss anything or be late on the cutoffs and all of that stuff. So um, next time, I should have some more video for you, but uh, starting off with the swim, um, I was happy that they had a um, acclimation period, so the water was cold. Um, I didn't think it didn't feel cold to me, but um, due to that, they had us all go in the water, swim just a little bit, get acclimated to the water before the start. And so that was actually nice because I'd never done open water swim. Um, my goal for the swim was just to finish it, um, honestly. I did have a secondary like time goal. I wanted to do it within 30 to 35 minutes um, if possible, but I wasn't going to beat myself up if I didn't make that. And I actually didn't, I forgot in the rush of everything to start my watch. So I had no idea throughout the entire race how long my swim went. I had to stop, stop a couple times to um, just kind of catch my breath and get my surroundings. Um, I felt like I was always constantly siding and I think that was just part of it. Um, just the energy exerted from that so um, I thought that I had done really bad on the swim but I ended up doing it in 33 minutes um, which is faster than my attempt in the pool getting up out of the swim onto the beach was another story I wasn't ready for that weird feeling of uh, um, 
just switching from horizontal to back to vertical. Um, so that took a minute to get adjusted, but uh, transition went well. So the bike portion, um, I thankfully with the route profile, I knew how much elevation gain to expect. And I've been using Zwift, which has been really helpful because I would pick some routes that had similar um, elevation gain. It obviously wouldn't mimic the exact hills um, on the race, but at least I knew I'd be climbing close to the same amount on a 40K uh, loop. So I kind of knew what I wanted to do it within and I actually did meet that. So I did it the bike in an hour 13 um, Came off the swim in 39 there's 50 of us so like really close to the end and I passed about 20 people on the bike and I uh, that was kind of nice. It was a nice motivational boost because um, I knew I was confident in what I was doing with the bike. The only downside to this race, it was an open course, meaning that the bike section, um, it's a two lane road, wasn't closed off. So you had to navigate with cars. There weren't a ton of cars, but there were a couple times where cars would get sandwiched in between um, some triathletes. It, it, I was behind in the behind group and there was a slower triathlete out front and so that car would get stuck and we couldn't pass the car so slowed me down so even with some of those slowdowns I felt pretty proud of doing hour uh, 13 for that 40k and then I got off went to the run and that's when things kind of just took a turn for the more difficult um, for the worse um, for my race experience that is um, I have been doing a lot of brake workouts, so I knew what to expect as far as getting off the bike and running. However, I felt like the course description for the run was a little misleading, and I didn't have enough time to go out and walk the entire run course to know what I was up against. Um, I did kind of look at it or the day before the race, and I noticed that there were, it was literally just a trail. So, loose gravel grass and as I was going in it I had never ran on trails and that's just a lot different um, than what I was running on I wore my um, race day shoes that are uh, they're carbon plated lighter have less cushion and support and I would have done much better probably even faster just to use my stability all day regular trainers and also just the, it was a lot of extra effort exerted I wasn't anticipating um, there to be all that uh, terrain to navigate and, and a lot of hills um, up and down through that trail. So that part really wore me out just because I, I hadn't trained for that. And uh, some of that's my fault. Coming off of that, I did that in like 53 minutes. Um, I had hoped to do it in 40. So my total time was two hours and 44 minutes, which was just a little bit off. It wasn't, I wanted to do it in two and a half or less. Um, so I wasn't that far off and honestly, I hit all my other goals. So it really was just the run. And um, maybe I would have hit that goal had I uh, um, been more diligent, understood more of the terrain, um, practiced more on that type, but uh, you learn as you go. And uh, since it was my first triathlon, I'm very happy with how I did. Um, I also got third in my age group, which I wasn't expecting with that uh, with that time, so that was awesome. Um, so I got third in my age group, uh, 19th overall, and so um, I can't wait to do the next one. I have a sprint triathlon in July that I'm going to be doing. I'm pretty excited about that one, too. I wanted to do all of the different distances just to see which one I like. Um, so I'll do that one, and then I'll probably do a half Ironman next year. <laughs> Brandon! Oh, 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 o